Welcome to the world of engineering. This program is going to introduce you to this innovative and exciting subject. Engineering in all its forms has been around for thousands of years. Stone Age civilizations were using primitive forms of engineering, which has developed and evolved throughout the eons of history. It is now one of the most sophisticated and exciting technologies, which has an effect on everybody on the planet, and even some not on the planet. Engineering is not without its dangers, and its hazards are not to be taken lightly. There have been many tragic accidents involving the loss of life and limb throughout the ages, and important lessons have been learned from these tragedies. These lessons have prompted legislation to minimize the possibility of these events happening again, and enforcing agencies have developed codes of practice to assist and provide guidance. They also have enforcement powers that they can use if necessary. As in all walks of life, we have basic rules, and it's these fundamental guidelines that form the basis of the whole safety culture in engineering. We all have to start with the basics, and if you get them right, you will have a safe journey through your engineering career. PPE includes such items as eye protectors, life jackets, respirators, and harnesses, and also incorporates protective clothing such as aprons, gloves, safety footwear, head protection, and high visibility clothing. Employers are required to provide suitable PPE where there is a risk at work to health and safety, except where that risk has been adequately controlled by other means. In effect, PPE is a last resort if the hazard cannot be controlled completely. If there is any risk, then PPE must be provided free of charge, and if it is supplied, then it must be worn correctly. Users must be trained in the use of the equipment how to wear, maintain, and store it correctly. It may be that an operator of a machine is required to wear PPE because of particles of swarf being thrown out from the operation, or perhaps there may be some intermittent noise. In these types of cases, it may not be just the operator who is affected by these hazards, but passers-by may also be affected in which case it may be necessary to designate the area as a compulsory area for wearing of PPE, which would apply to all people working in the area and also anyone who passes through this area as well. These areas will be designated by the use of standard signs. It's important that you understand the different types of sign and their meaning. Basically, signs are classified into different types. There are signs that are mandatory, these indicate a specific action that must be taken, or what behaviour must be adopted. These signs are always round, with a blue-coloured background showing a white pictogram. Because they are mandatory, you must always obey this type of sign. Examples of mandatory signs are Wear hard hat Wear safety footwear Wear eye protection Use pedestrian walkway